were quite solid throughout the tournament. And we didn't lose to the last game, but we just had draws over and over again. And, you know, one of those draws, if you look back at it now, one of those draws, especially the games that we were up a man or we were in control and we could see 93rd minute, you know, maybe we could have put the game to bed a little bit more before instead of trying to hold on. Uh, but those are things that obviously, the time being, you know, you, you kind of just go through it and then after you look back at it. But yeah, of course, uh, obviously if I were to be healthy and I would love to participate and help the team and, you know, maybe I could have made a difference. As you can see in the tournament, there was a lot of injuries for many different players on many different teams, important players too. So I just think it was one of those where it was hard for everybody to adjust. Just think mentally, obviously playing games every two days, three days, I think can be hard. And then you go into training sessions and games worrying about your body. You know, because you obviously want to participate in the things that are important. It's quite draining, to be honest. You know, it's hard to bounce back knowing that there's only like two weeks left and you just got re-injured, especially being in a football environment where you're just around it 24-7. Like, I think that was the tough part. Like, usually if you're at home and then you're in a normal season, you go home to your family and then your friends outside of soccer. And, you know, two weeks can go by faster than it is sitting there watching your teammates train and then every day soccer. So I think that was the hardest part of being injured at the the bubble. There's Ben and Williams. Now to Trasso. Touch back. Decent effort. Oh, it's a wonderful goal from Wesley Fuller. Let's talk about this opportunity for you that's cropped up in, in the last couple of weeks because London as a city has played a massive role in your life. How has it been since you've arrived at Barnett's and are you enjoying yourself? I know it's very early days, but in terms of getting this opportunity, how much does that mean to you? Uh, yeah, well, like you said, like, uh, you know, I came to London when I was 15 and I stayed here for about eight years. So I think, you know, I'm pretty familiar with the place. Like, you know, it's been a long time since I've played consistently and been healthy consistently, obviously with a lot of break and time off in between the two seasons, the previous two seasons, and then having the injury. Uh, you know, so that's why I've been, uh, you know, being able to train every day and, uh, you know, go to the gym every day, I think is one important for me to, you know, be able to play in 90 minutes and then four days later, be able to play another 90 minutes. And I think that's one of the main things in my mind. You know, I would like to uh, improve my finishing. So I think that was one of the things I said when I first signed for York 9, because in my first season of CPR, I created a lot of opportunities and a lot of chances. And I just wasn't clinical enough. I could have had a lot more stats so I'm thinking that I'm hoping that you know if I get the opportunity like I said to stay healthy and play uh, that I'll be able to do that here so I think those are the, the two things that obviously going into the season that I'd like to you know contribute to the team. The CPL obviously it's a difficult second season because of the situation with COVID-19 and, and obviously as we've talked about earlier on they had to adjust and they had to adapt and and, and put together a tournament in, in PDI which was the Island Games. Um, but how, how have you felt being being a participant in, in the Canadian Premier League and obviously with Valor in Winnipeg and, and now with us in, in York 9? It must it must sit very well with you at the moment in terms of where Canadian soccer is for you to come on board with the league and to see that there's this momentum and a surge headed towards somewhere big and somewhere high profile that we can properly call something Canadian. The timing was right, perfect for me. And I think it's perfect for a lot of players that, you know, that they think the same that, you know, with a finally having kind of have a soccer league, we don't have to venture out to these lower, lower leagues in Europe just to continue to play soccer as a job. Now we can play at home and showcase ourselves and, you know, and uh, we can either be main states in the lead and, you know, play in this league for many years or, you know, we can be sold or traded or sent somewhere else. So I think uh, Canada did it right. And I think obviously, you know, we, we didn't really get a second year, but uh, moving into the next year, I think uh, just get better and better. But with the, way York 9 are looking at, you know, developing players and developing young players. And, uh, you know, I consider myself still young, just turning 25. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think that, you know, for my future, I think it was the, the right decision to stay here. And uh, I'm just happy to be part of it. So. It would be remiss of me not to ask about your international aspirations as well. And in terms of the fact that you've got nine senior caps for your country, you obviously seriously want to add to those uh, with particularly World Cup on its way in 2026. Talk to me about that and, and where you are in your mind in terms of being part of John Herdman's squad. Representing Canada is probably the best thing that I've done in my career. And uh, I remember when I made my debut and then I remember playing in the Gold Cup in front of everybody, my family and friends. I think it was probably like one of the best moments uh, in my soccer career. So I think, uh, you know, I'm hoping obviously still a few years away, but uh, I just thought that's why it was important for me to keep playing 
that's my goal is just to keep playing, uh, improve. And then, you know, you never know where soccer can take you. And uh, so I'm hoping that uh, I can catch the eyes of uh, the coaches eventually, whether it's sooner or, or later, but I'm not going to give up in trying to play for the national team. I think that's every kid should be trying to play for the national team. I think that's important.